Hi friends! If you have dual operating systems installed on your computer, you will have the choice to select which operating system you would like to start up with. Let's go ahead and see how you can install dual operating systems on your computer. Here in this video, the dual operating systems that we are going to install are Windows XP and Windows 7. First, we will be installing Windows XP. Let's see how it's done. Insert the Windows XP CD into your CD drive or DVD drive and then restart your computer. At the Welcome to Setup screen, press Enter key to start Windows XP Setup. Read the Microsoft Software License Terms and then press the F8 key to accept. Press C key to create a partition in the unpartitioned space. Enter the size of the new partition and then press Enter. To set up Windows XP on the selected partition, press Enter. If the partition you have selected is not formatted, use the up and down arrow key to select the file system you want, and then press Enter. Wait for the formatting process to complete. After formatting, the setup wizard will copy files to the Windows installation folders. This will take some time. Once this portion of the setup is completed, the computer will restart on its own. When your computer restarts, the setup process will continue. Follow the instructions that appear on your screen and select appropriate options to continue. The setup finalization process will take some time to complete. You will see now that Windows XP is installed on your computer and is ready to be used. Now you can install Windows 7 on the same computer. To do so, Insert Windows 7 installation disk in the optical disk drive and restart your computer. Press any key to begin the installation of Windows 7 and it will load the system files. In the Windows installation wizard, click Next to proceed. Click Install Now to begin the setup process. Select the I accept the license terms checkbox and then click Next. Select Custom Advanced Type of Installation. Select the partition where you want to install Windows 7 and make sure you do not select the partition where you have already installed Windows XP. Click Drive Options. Here you can format the selected drive if required and then click Next. It takes some time for the setup to complete. Your computer will restart automatically several times during the installation process. Once your computer restarts, you will get the prompt to choose an earlier version of Windows or the recently installed Windows 7 operating system. Select Windows 7 and press Enter. Follow the instructions appearing on your screen and Windows will now finalize the settings of your computer. That's it! Windows 7 is successfully installed on your PC. Now when you start your computer, you will have the option to choose from Windows XP or Windows 7. See, that wasn't hard at all. Thanks for watching.